The nine God Kings that we call Supreme Court justices woke up today and were like, hey, let's not single-handedly upend American democracy. Well, it seems like, yeah, that should be the default. That should be like, we shouldn't have to applaud for that. But this specific and highly conservative Supreme Court, nothing's guaranteed. And this incredibly consequential and controversial case did not have a unanimous ruling. It was a six to three vote. Because the case in question was called Moore v. Harper. And we actually did a deep dive on it, which I'll link to down below. But to just give you a very top level rundown here, this centers around Republican gerrymandering in North Carolina. With North Carolina Republicans taking the matter to the Supreme Court after multiple congressional maps they drew up were rejected because of gerrymandering. But also, this was not a typical gerrymandering case. The Republicans' argument rested entirely on a totally untested fringe theory touted by Trump and other far-right extremists in their effort to overturn the 2020 election. It's called Independent State Legislature Theory, ISL Theory. And the basis behind this theory is that the Constitution gives state legislatures pretty much the exclusive power to set election rules in congressional maps. But not only is that authority singular, nothing can stop them. There can be no intervention from state courts, governors, or voters. 